Hello friends, welcome to the Yes You Can Draw Club. I'm Pat Nepley, I'm your master artist for all of these club meetings, and I've been drawing since I was four years old. In fact, I love to draw so much, I can't wait to share with you tips for how you can become a better artist. So, how do we get started? We're gonna go over some club rules. The first rule is we have a club sign. So let me teach it to you now. What you're going to do is extend your arm in front of you while holding a pencil and put your thumb up against the pencil like this. Extend your arm, squint to look at the pencil point and move your arm to the right like you're focusing on a new object. It's simple. Now why are we doing this? Well, this is a technique that artists use called comparative sight sizing. Big words. What it means is looking at an object at a distance and comparing the size of something, say a house on a hill, to what you're drawing to make sure it's right on the paper. Now we're going to use that much later in some later club meetings, but I want you to know that it is a technique that artists use a lot. So why don't you try it? Grab a pencil and do it with me, okay? Perfect, you got it. Shh, that club sign is only for friends who are in our club meeting. Got it. Okay, so why do I love art so much? Because I know as a Christ follower that God is our master creator and he gave us all the ability to be really creative. And I wanna share some of that with you so you can learn to be creative in what you do at home or at school. Now, before we get started, we have to start at the beginning, and that means making sure we have the right tools. Now, the most basic tool of all is the pencil. Now, for you at home or at school, it's going to be a number two pencil, the standard pencil you use all the time to write. That's fine. And we are going to go over a basic toolkit that you're going to need for all of this first unit of 12 club meetings. The other basic tool is a piece of paper. Any paper that you have handy, even printer, copier paper is fine, but we will be using some colored papers during these lessons because it's easier to show up on the camera. Okay, so we have the basics and we know that a pencil and a paper can do a lot, like lines. Let's take a look. With a pencil, you can do all kinds of lines. You can do sweeping lines, jagged lines, soft lines, thick lines, all kinds of lines. And that is the most basic element of a drawing. So with a pencil and paper, you can do quite a lot. You know, you can't create something from nothing. That's why you have to have a pencil and a paper. But you know what that reminds me of? That God did create something from nothing. In fact, in the Bible, it talks about it in the book of Genesis. Right at the very beginning of the Bible, it says in Genesis 1, verses 1 through 3, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Isn't that cool? God created everything around us from nothing. He's the only one who can do that. Now, if we want to capture some of God's creation, we're going to need the toolkit to do it. So let's go over what it takes to have a basic drawing toolkit. So over here I have some basic tools. A number two pencil. That's the kind of pencil you use all the time. A drawing pencil that's softer a charcoal pencil or a piece of loose charcoal, a black Sharpie marker, a set of color pencils, a set of 12 is just fine, a pencil sharpener, a set of crayons, anything over 16, and one of my favorite tools of all, an eraser. Now, it's important to have the right eraser I prefer a white eraser. The eraser on the back of your pencil, the pink kind, really doesn't do a great job when you're drawing. It might be okay for erasing a math problem, but in order to not make marks on your paper, you want a good white eraser. 
And then there's another eraser I like to use. We're going to use at some of our later club meetings, and that's called a kneaded eraser. Kneaded as in kneading dough. This is a fun eraser. This kind is kind of soft like silly putty, but it's great because you can twist this eraser into small pieces to get into those tight corners and you can smudge. Believe it or not, smudging is an important tool you're going to use in drawing. One of the only times smudging is okay. I like to keep all of my drawing tools handy in some type of box or toolbox, but you can keep them in a Ziploc bag or in a pencil case like you use for school, that's fine. Now you want to have your drawing tools ready so that any time you feel like drawing or practicing one of our exercises we're going to be talking about, you'll have all your tools handy and that's what you need. You know, it reminds me of something else, a toolkit for life. We have tools for all kinds of special projects. Maybe at home you've helped mom or dad with a project and you had to have a hammer and a wrench or maybe a screwdriver to put together something in your room. Having the right tools is really important to getting the job done well. Well, God gives us a toolkit for doing life. And the most basic tool of all is the Bible. It's important for you to get that toolkit out every day and to read your Bible as often as you can, perhaps with friends or with your family. This is a really important tool that you always want to have. But what if you don't have it handy? That's where learning God's Word and keeping it in your heart is so important. Then you always have that tool with you when you need it. So with a pencil right now, take out a piece of paper, any kind of paper is fine, and a regular pencil, and I want to teach you how to use your most basic tool, the pencil. Now, you've all held a pencil when you have to do some writing assignments, and that is called the basic grip. So let me show you. You're going to hold your pencil just like you would for writing in school, like this. Like if I were to write my name, that's the basic grip. Point your finger on top, thumb real close, and you're down by the point. Perfect. Now the basic grip is good for doing just basic lines, and you will use this grip most of the time. Now, there's another grip for drawing that is important when you're going to shade, and that means when you're filling in large areas, and that's called the overhand grip. So let me explain to you what the overhand grip looks like. Pretend that this pencil is a handlebar or a monkey bar in the playground. Hold it out with your opposite hand. Now, I'm right-handed, so my right hand is what I'm going to use to grab. If you're left-handed, you'll just do the opposite. Hold by the point and put your thumb underneath and your fingers on top like you're going to grab it, like this. Great. Now, slide your pointer finger down to the point. Take away your holding arm. That's how you hold for the overhand grip. And let me show you. That's so that you can shade with the side of your pencil. So let's practice both. With your basic grip right now, just draw a shape. I'm just going to do a circle. Any shape is fine. Now switch to the overhand grip, like this. Good job. Now with the overhand grip, Push your pointer finger near where the lead of the pencil is, and you're going to shade in. Nice and light and nice and even. Boys and girls, this is something that you're going to practice a lot, understanding how much pressure to use in order to get the right impact with your pencil. So using my overhand grip, I'm going to shade lightly in my shape. Now, if I were to press harder, it's going to be darker. Do you see that? And as I release my pressure, it's going to be lighter. Let me give you another great tip. Sometimes boys and girls have a hard time keeping their drawing pencil light. It's really important to keep your marks light because you want to be able to erase. Has that ever happened to you? You've done a problem or written something and you really know you need to erase it and you go to erase it and it just doesn't come up because the marks are too dark. So that's something I want you to practice before we meet for our next club meeting. Writing and shading with your pencil, keeping your lines light. So here's the tip. 
to keep your lines light, keep your fingertips away from the point. So if you like to press hard, slide the pencil point away from where your fingertips are, and it's harder to put as much pressure. And that's how you can keep your lines light. Okay, that's all we have time for today in our very first club meeting. I hope you understand that it's so important to have the right tools to do the right job. So get your drawing toolkit ready before we meet again. And you know how to hold a pencil in the basic grip and in the overhand grip so that you're ready for anything we do at these club meetings. I'm so glad you joined me, but we're going to sign off now with our club sign. So let's try it. Great! See you next time.